car does a nice long warm up now, first drive. Luxury waiting, haven't changed the settings. We've got 33, 39, it's pretty decent. And then on idle, it's actually no, absolutely no noise than normal. So it sounds like really nice. It literally sounds like the same car on idle, I would say. Then inside the car, it sounds sounds the same. Fans come on. On my car, the fans come on there. That's just where the way my dial is. That's all. And I've checked it with laser gun. But yeah, literally not that mark. Just after that mark, the 240 mark on my car. That's when they come on. Yeah, that sounds good. So we've got the DeLorean Go exhaust system on there, sports exhaust, so it wasn't too difficult um, to fit, you know, when you sort of look back on it, bear in mind, you know, people always have snap studs, C studs, all that sort of stuff. Obviously the studs weren't seized, it'll be super easy. It wasn't too bad. Um, just been out for my first uh, ride in it, as it's a nice day today and tomorrow, so we'll get the DeLorean out, and it's really nice. Um, it's smoked and sort of smelt, the exhaust has smoked and smelt for about sort of 20 minutes, half an hour, as it's burning off all the oils and products and stuff in the exhaust plus as well as the lubrication that I used in order to assemble it. Um, so yeah, about 20-30 minutes on that. After that it, was, it cleared up, which was, which was good. I made, sure, I made obviously sure that nothing was melting or burning, but yeah, all happy happy days. System sounds way better. On idle, as you probably heard in the previous video, if you can tell, it sounds like a normal DeLorean. It sounds like the, sounds like the old exhaust system on idle it sounds normal. Um, it's only when you give it a little bit of a, a little bit of throttle, it sounds way better, way, way, way better. It's completely different. Um, the car seems, the car definitely seems to go much better. You know, it seems to be accelerating um, easier. It seems to breathe, breathe easier, um, which obviously is what it should do. But it does actually feel like it actually is better, as well. Um, you saw in the previous video that I checked the dwell. Um, I'll refer back to my book in, in, um, tonight and see if that's the right sort of level. I can't remember if it's 35 to 45 might be ideal, but I think that, I think I was showing like 32 to 39 or something, which is pretty damn close. And to be honest, with you, the car sounded good; it felt good. So I'll double check the book, but I'll probably leave it exactly as it is, rather than having that any fine, minute, you know, adjustment, which might not necessarily do much, you know. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the system. So yeah, quality system, love it. And I would say that it sounds way better from the outside for the public. When you sat in the car, you know, it's not it's not too noisy. You know, it's a bit noisier than, than the old system, without a doubt. But the the noise is for the public. You know, when you sort of um, ease off the throttle, you get lots of real subtle, nice performance sort of pops, you know, from the exhaust system, sort of rumbles and pops internally. It's no, no bangs, no backfires, just sort of pops and rumbles from the exhaust every single time you, you um, ease off the throttle, you know, or... Because that, that kind of thing, or you change up to second gear and then you let go of the throttle, it just you get those noises. So, yeah, you'll find you'll be doing a lot of driving in first and second around town, easing off the throttle, I expect. If you're anyway, if you're like me, that's what you'll do. But, yeah, I'm really pleased with it, and it looks beautiful, sounds good, definitely seems to improve the car. So, yeah, happy days. Thank you. Cheers.